A very good Monday morning. This is Base Radio Mwanzo Burudani, the number one audiovisual online radio station in Kenya. Base Asibuhi is live on Facebook. That is the Smart Jokers Facebook page, Fuse Kenya, and Base Radio's Facebook page with Uchambuzi wa Magaziti. Or if you like English, it is time for newspaper review. My name is Agiso Patience. I am the sweet, choking, smooth, smiling, smart joker from Kipra, lawyer at Timafis with a personal baby face food psychologist <coughs> Mwenyewe. A food psychologist Mwenyewe. Yes. I mean, I don't want the food psychologist beat, mm. but, but I'm concerned with the um, lawyer beat. Toa mm. Timafis, inisawa. Mm. So yesterday I saw the deputy president, Rigadi Gashago Ali, direct or rather I'll request the Directorate of Public uh, Prosecutions to lay off, I'm going to lay down um, the wrongly instigated cases. Mm. Akisema that was a political uh, witch hunt. Yani hizi cases zingine kuna zile wanasema kulimbikiziwa mm. as in wame, wame kupandikizia a certain case according to mm. him. Mm. Because unakumka ilea kaya 72.5 billion mm. ilikuwa laid down. Wakisema there was no enough evidence. It was mm. a political witch hunt. Mm. So I don't know what you think about it because um, mm. History has it in the last one month, many cases have been laid off, and these are high end cases. And they also have a lot of money of Kenyans. Ziki potia potia to hivi in something we don't even understand. Sasa mimi kitu ya nesema ni kwamba, Simba akiwa hakimu, mbuzi ana haki. <laughs> okay. Mwa izikia msemo kama uwa. Ha, numesikia sa izi mara kwanza. Mimi kama mchukua henga, wawa henga. Si tuko kwa Facebook page live. Mhm. Mm tuko kwa page radio uh -huh, na the smart choker. Uh -huh. Eh, narudia tena. Simba akiwa hakimu, mbuzi hana haki. Mhm. Mm Sasa hiyo msemo inamaanisha ya kwamba kwa watu wa chanja ni kwamba hakikisha kama wewe ni mbuzi saa hii. <laughs> Ungangane ukue simba siku moja. Mhm. Mm Ndio wakati umeketi hapo Ukiangalia hizi kesi zingine una realize haya kumbe hii kesi nilikuwa nalimbikiziwa mm -hmm. because as we are talking <coughs> right now pia uh -huh. niende za hizi nyingine kitoko mm -hmm. error na kemwarer uh -huh. sasa inataka sasa ku inaitwa revamping mhm mm eh, ku ku rechufinetiwa uh -huh. kuamushwa upya na nani anaiamsha the, the boss himself mm -hmm. eh the commander in chief and remember there was some time um, yes. he was tied to the Aror and Kimwarer uh, scandal. So yes. I, I still don't understand. Mm. Uh -huh. So hapa, mm. root of house to revive 63 billion Kenyan shillings Aror and Kimwarer dump projects. Muna mm kumbuka -hmm. mm. hata wakati wa presidential debate. Akasema hizo ni scandals tu ni maneno tu za siyasa anarushiwa na kasema hata alikuwa huko he was a part of it because wakati wa kuijenga ku hizo madams mm -hmm. alikuwa deputy president by then mm -hmm. so he was on the ground he was dealing with even uh, some people there ali deal now kabisa ki streamline mambo yende vizuri mm -hmm. so file nimesema tu Simba akiwa hakimu, mm -hmm. mbuzi hana haki. <laughs> Ni sawa. And then mm. uh, speaking about a uh, laying of people and, and scandals, you know, um, there have been cases here kwamba a lot of people who are working in the government, mm. um, or when I say government, ni nasema county, senate, yes. and everything, mm. they are old age, yani waze. Yes. So right now the Nairobi County has a plan um, to voluntarily retire aging staff. Mm. Uh, because... Um, mm. They want to replace this uh, aging staff with a young, energetic youth. Mm. And according to a report uh, tabled um, in the County Assembly of Nairobi, out of the 14K strong executive workforce, 60% are aged between 60 to 40 years. Mm. So 40% near the youth. Imagine. 60%. Mm. It is half of the total population of workers. When ni waze. And yeah. uh, you remember we used to have discussions here to yes. kwamba we need this new energy. Yeah. And somebody said, no, we need this old energy with the experience. So mm. which way forward? Now, Akiso, mm -hmm. me, I'm happy about that. Nairobi County in Because, me, mm -hmm. Mr. Blame was, Kuna time Kifika Muse, Wende tu kaya nyumbani, we upariki watoto. Mm -hmm. eh, unapariki mototo, ndi anaenda kujinja kuku. 
Mhm. Eh unasomea watu pipilia una cancel watu mtaani. Okay. Kuna wakati ukifika mzee unahitaji kufanya hizo vitu. Mm -hmm. Hata kanisani kuna time ukifika mzee <laughs> huhitaji kusimama hapo mbele na na sauti ikikwaruza throat. Mm -hmm. Unaba ukae tu kwa madzipao wewe tu ni kupariki muupiri mm -hmm. aenda upiri. Mm -hmm. Do you know the reason as to why an individual will come from nowhere mm -hmm. and uh, open a company and that company will have like uh, one million uh, followers on Facebook, mm -hmm. but the government's Facebook, <laughs> the government that has resources, uh -huh. it got to pile 10,000 followers. Mm -hmm. Then you wonder why. What is happening? It is because of lack of <coughs> this energetic youth mm -hmm. when you were Saliwa wakati technology uh -huh. wamekuro technology kiwa. They have ideas of even yes. advancing the existing technology. Yes, na pia advancement mm -hmm. imeleta vitu zenye muzea kiangalia na miwani yake hivi. Anaterimisha chini. Anashindu wa kuneenda haju, mm -hmm. Then in these offices tume ishi kwa hizi vitu za uh -huh. andika zijui nataka kuona handwriting yako. Ya nini? Sijui tuma hii barua peleka hapo rutisha hapa. <laughs> Wakati tuko na email tuko na WhatsApp we can you can just do that. send something and finish you know mm -hmm. So I think hiyo eh, ni njia mzuri ya kutengeneza mambo ikuwe tamu. Mm -hmm. Even the IT, the national IT itself. Eh, acha tu story the IT. It physically. They want the chi just leave even the process of getting the ID Ay. itself and achieve tafta pasta. Ulizaliwa wapi? I think if you have a birth certificate that shows you're a Kenyan, though anasemanga it's not an identity, if you have it, then you should go to any Huduma Center, log in your details and get the ID. I hope Aisha Juma is going to do that through enforcing these new changes that we want right now. Smarty umesema tu vizuri, you can scan your ID and send it with your email. Wakifungua watayona. Now they need a physical one. Can Imagine. you really uh, can you really scan something fake? And those people, they are aged. Ni mwase. Kona experience. Wanasama mina wana biyota biya eh, zenu. Alafu wana instruct youth wetu. Mm -hmm. Wenye wako pale. Mm -hmm. Wana wana instruct wanasema lazima ufanyi. Kabisa. Zenu unajundo kunaenda. Wee sawa sawa. I can see uh, we have kanu wa ya Thui. Ako tuned in pale base radio. Sanchez ke yanasema good morning. Um, here Baghdad, Iraq. Well represented. Thank you so much. Hoffman, mwana wa mzazi, anasema good morning. Alafu poet Stano, anasema good morning, the dynamic duo. Ukiangale yo saidia kosmati, you've mentioned something about uh, resources. Mm. And right now, according to data from Safaricom, uh, between April and September this year, mm. around 15 million Kenyans borrowed 308.7 billion mm. through Fuliza. Mm. M-Pesa and m -Shuri platforms amid dwindling sources of income and high cost of living. 15 million Kenyans. Ome borrowed 380.7 billion. I am mm. part of those Kenyans. Are you part? I'm part of <laughs> Why are you part of them? Because we need money and uh, economy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, apart from doing your side hustle or mm -hmm. your main career, mm -hmm. you need to have an, a supplement somewhere. Uh -huh. yeah. And the supplement is? And this supplement is not working well. Even <laughs> if the main career is not working, working well. well. Uh -huh. Now you come back to Fulisa mm -hmm. and this other loan giving mm -hmm. uh, financial institutes mm -hmm. to save your life. To save your life. Uh, so in my situation, I give a Kenya pekeyake on a loan. Na patu ya letewa pesa ingine na IMF. No, you are just crazy. Nili on a variety IMF pia yiko tayari kutupea Kenya pesa. Kenya pesa. Eh? Eish. Sisi wote tukue na mateni na mutu wa sitai mungini. Eh. Tusisumbuane. Tusisumbuane. Mm. I don't know if you have a fans tuned on your side ama niendele uko. <coughs> Unaesa endelea na mafans uko. Mm. Alafu. Mi natako endelea na gazeti. Wena taka uende kwa fans. Mm. Tasa unatoka, unataka nitoke kwa gazeti. Apana, apana. Mm. Utaki britha. Mm. Mm. Acha niende kwa mafans. Ulikuwa kwa base rate. Eh, ya. Yeah. Yeah, wacha mimi niende kwa smart choka. Alafu tuone kwa na minakani. I hope umetownload up kijoni yetu ya base radio umetune in ama unasikilizia kwa website yetu www.paceradio.co.ke thank you so much naona hapa kwa the smart choka watu wako ndiki ni ndaka skatar is tuned sanchez anasema <coughs> present ekiru 
that uh, of a kama mm-hmm. yuko ndani anasema tuned in from Drukana mm-hmm. and generally wa Yesu anasema tuned in from Matare mm-hmm. for AI salimia watu wote wakonjwa kwa hospitali waambie Mungu atawaponya na waambie quick recovery mm-hmm. eh, alafu kuna fisi akiwa hakimu not simba okay prate mm-hmm. let me tell you you can use simba fisi ngurue na hiyo ngurue ufananishe na kitu kingine kitoko chenye kinaweza kuliwa akili kichwani tume advance tuna think kuliko hata wahenga wenyewe mm-hmm. then ukali sukuma anasema following up asante sana tambo se up mm-hmm. mungu akupariki sana kwa kutuni into pace radio mwanzo wa protani segment yenye hewani ni uchambuzi wa makaseti na program ni uh-huh. pace asubuhi uh-huh. na radio ni pace radio mwanzo wa protani Tunazanga hii program kuanzia saa moja mpaka saa nne za asubuhi mabwebwe majira ya Afrika Mashariki. Mm-hmm. Safiri na sisi tafadhali. Okay. Yes. So unajua uh, last week but one and, and better part of last week kulikuwa na debates about um, PS nominees. Mm. So their voting is set uh, to begin today. So we have 51 nominees who have already been interview, interviewed by the Public Service Commission mm. will be vetted by the departmental um, organ- committee mm. today to approve if they are suitable uh, to sit on those chairs mm. of different uh, departments the the Public Service Commission. Mm. So Lord Tawaona, Wakijuma, Ulimi, or or if at all they will be steadfast with whatever they have. Uh, for me, whether they will matter uh, Ulimi or not, they are all in mm-hmm. and they will be shortlisted mm-hmm. because we have what happened kuna watu wenye walikuwa na jauku na wenye walikuwa kwa hiyo uh, fetting mm-hmm. wenye walikuwa na fetiwa na pato wako ndani mm-hmm. so others wa wenye wanakuja ma ps pato mm-hmm. wako ndani watapata kazi wote mm-hmm. that is our country that is kenya and already before wa tabuliwa hapo wa shortlistiwe already kuna issue kwa hiyo kuchakuwa already kuna issue tuishi hivyo let us live that way kenyans sisi tu, tunapepanga msiko tunachocheana pifo alafu during tunachocheana tena then after tunaanza kuona after match after match yes so after ni maisha ni maisha mm. and then uh, smarty uh, sakaja uh, bans hawkers uh, street families from occupying foot bridges unajua in nairobi um, We have a lot of uh, street families and beggars na mostly wanadanga kwa foot bridge mm. because you find at the foot bridge mtu ana ukitaka kuna the other side of the road and you are on a highway you have to use a foot bridge yes. so there are many people who want to access that side jua kuna matatu za ku cross hivi mm. so you find uh, our street families and hawkers wame stage up strategically because of the traffic mm. so he is going to ban or he has technically banned all those people from occupying the foot bridges uh, it is a good eh? mm-hmm. it is a good idea okay i'm not a kenesti <laughs> but, but what we never would think kama mm-hmm. wase mhm what think kama wase akizo yes always anza kusema unataka kupan street families mhm na ujui penye hizo street families zinatoka mhm tiange kunja samaki kama angali mpichi kana kama anafuliwa okay sasa alifaa kunjwe ama unapendekeza kunjwe kwa nini hizo 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 street families ziko kwa street kwa nini mhm Don't they have homes? If kama ni if uh, vacation says zinafanyika kwa salamu this is forceful vacation says mm-hmm. zinafanya watu kama wakose makasi mm-hmm. si pasi watavuta njia ya kuwatafutia mahali pa kukaa chameni <laughs> kama ni for for conflict za za, za, za familia za marriage and so on eh? si pasi we employ more counselors and so on chief wa delegate duties apewe workman hiyo nini watu wamsaidie kusaidia watu ndoa zao nini ndio wasipikane wa separate watu wakose makao watoto wakose papa <coughs> na mama <coughs> waanze kurudi kwa streets kuchaza na huko unajua sisi tunakosanga uh-huh. kutipu ukonjwa wakati unaanza uh-huh. tunangoja wakati tumetopoka sasa uso pimples zimetoka uh-huh. tumeshindwa kutembea ndio sasa tunataka kuanza kutipu of which it is very dangerous talking uh-huh. of that akiso mm-hmm. mm, eh, reports zinasema ya kwamba kuna high rate of form 4 eh, of form 
of form 2 mm -hmm. eh, wamefail wa kwenda ku attend school okay. high rates za form 2 mm -hmm. eh, na ukiangalia ndani ndani um, ni cases zenye zina stand out ni in discipline cases na unajua zinakucha na mnakani mm -hmm. adolescents mm -hmm. sawa those people wamesaliwa wakafika hapo wakaona haya kumbe haya ma corona mm -hmm. kumbe ni shame and death kama za papa yangu eh uh -huh. kumbe naezaongea pesa kama ya papa yangu uh -huh. haya kumbe <laughs> I, i resemble my mom I have everything that my mom has. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, my mom, everything everything yeah. that your mom has. Yes. Your mom has a husband. You The you. only thing I'm lacking is a husband and a child. Yes. Okay. So I need to look for a boyfriend. <laughs> and okay. I have my own brain. Uh -huh. My mom cannot tell me anything. Ukishaanza mm hivyo -hmm. conflict. Utakosa kwenda shule in discipline cases. Ukienda shule pia you want a boyfriend from the same class. Vitu mm -hmm. kama hizo and so on and so forth. That mm. is just my opinion. Uh -huh. But kuna shita uko kwa form 2 students. Okay. Yes. Okay, sawa sawa. Thank you. And on that note ya shida, hatu achi shida, but uh, why do you think um the form 2s wanna undergo through this? Wamesema, smatia mesema pa, it could be adolescent. But is it the main thing? Are there any other problems or do you have solutions or insights about that? Join us um, from 8.30 to 9.30. Wakati wa issue your base where we'll be discussing this. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is all we had uh, for Uchambuzi wa Magaziti. Again, this is Base Radio Mwanzoa Burudani. And we are found on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube as Base Radio. Please download our application. It is available on Play Store and App Store. We also have a website, www ke My name is Agiso Patience and thanks for tuning in. I am the sweet talking, smooth smiling, smart joker from Kipra Loyal at Timafis with a person in the baby face. Oops.